That's right, Scott. With all the crazy weather we've been having, I thought I'd come over to Sullivan Hardware and Garden and talk to Pat Sullivan about all of the different kinds of questions we have about seeding and planting and what to plant and when to plant. Right. And you know, right now, Generally, we would be halfway through the pansy season. Really? I probably didn't know that. Okay. So pansy <laughs> is the first cold weather annual. You know, when you get called a pansy, it's a good thing. Yeah, of Pansies course. are strong. I mean, it's the first plant that goes out. However, it has been so cold. The thing about pansies, now this is one I just brought in from, from outside. This, but look, it has survived the, the cold. It survived it, 10 inches of snow. It has that snow. on it. Just it has just, that on it. But it, sometimes when you get really freezing temperature, can burn the color off of it. So that's kind of one you want to protect a blooming plant, even if it's pansy, not going to kill it, but we, we're planting them for the for that color. Okay, got it. The forced yeah. plant. So this is something that uh, you know a lot of growers force things. This is a hydrangea that has been forced. So obviously, naturally, the temperature that we have, you wouldn't have this kind of bloom. So if you take a plant, even though it's hardy in our area, this hydrangea, and put it outside, frost and cold weather pretty much going to strip the color off of it. So you'd want to protect it. You know, if you're going to put it in a container, that's fine. But you got to be able to be able to pull it in because it's not naturally looking like this okay. outside. What about bulbs? Uh, bulbs, you know, people always worry about the bulbs. But that 10 inches of snow we had was really a nice insulator. These were not inside. I, I pulled these from outside this morning. They like the cold weather. And the number one question we've gotten on Facebook and Twitter, when do I plant my lawn seed? I mean, they, people want to know about this seed right here. Yeah, well, here's the thing. We always say, Grandma used to always say, put the seed on the, on the last snow. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's what you should do. Whatever, that's whatever what Grandma, grandma says, said, yeah. I, I would do that. But, but now, you have probably not going to do any good because the soil temperature right now on average in central Indiana is about 36 degrees. And that soil temperature has to be in the 50s to germinate grass seed. So if you put it on, we're expecting rain the next couple of days. Right. If we get a lot of rain and you put grass seed, it could really move it around a little bit if it's on an incline. So I would probably tend to wait till the soil temperature gets into the high 40s, maybe mid-April. Okay. You know, depending on hopefully it'll, it'll warm up at some point. <laughs> so. so we have other seeding as well. I like this seeding. You have tomatoes, yeah, this peppers, is, and things like that. This is just here. something you can do inside because people are anxious. So it's still not too late to do some starch. You can get these little seed trays. You can get little peat pots. You can, uh, there's people in Indiana, we take pride. You know, this is a source of pride, tomatoes, growing mm -hmm. your own tomato. So you can grow them inside. The key here when you're, when you're growing is getting a light source down close to it. If you, if not, that you get tall and, and spindly plants, and nobody wants that, Carl. I think that's that's terrible. Yeah. Uh, and last but not least, we have uh, this this tunnel as yeah, far as tunnel, keeping things so, yeah, warm. If if people want to put out some early crops, you know, broccoli and cabbage, and get really cold, and you want to really get it going, you can get these little tunnels. And what they do is they trap the heat from the ground, so you get a little heat. Uh, it protects them from frost, you know, and and you can get them in bags too. So if you have something big and you want to throw it over the top. Let's see here. Oh, you, I mean, it's yeah, like, no, that's nice. See, then you would be fully protected outside. <laughs> I do feel warmer. I yeah. feel I feel nice. This and is you look great. You wear that. Wow. <laughs> Anything that covers my face is good for TV. Uh, Pat, thank you so much. If you're still there. Yeah, thank, thank you, Carlos. Scott, back to you.